and welcome to oh my gosh it's so warm another video like like i said before this concert you get so sweaty um and yesterday right i got my belly button pierced spontaneously like just decided there and then and um it's hurting like it's throbbing so throughout the video if you see me like <sighs> that's why because i probably caught it again anyway the main focus on today's video is boy talk because People want opinions on stuff and it, I like I like giving my opinion, I like giving my thoughts. I'm probably the worst person to do it because I've never had a boyfriend. But the best people often give advice who haven't experienced it themselves. That's a complete lie. But <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Anyway, so these are just common worries a girl thinks and sometimes what a boy can think as well. And just common questions that don't often get answered. And just common worries from girls themselves about their boyfriends and stuff like that so the first one i'm moving away and i'm scared me and my boyfriend won't last and i won't have the trust first of all if you really really trust your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever and they are moving away it will work the more you think right it's not gonna work we're not gonna be together it's gonna fizzle out the more it will because you sort of manifest and that happen if the more you think a negative thought and this is what i've learned recently because honestly the amount of times I put myself down and just over stupid things, I just overthink. And I, I think, why am I doing that? It's not going to get me anywhere, for one. And I've just, you've just got to be positive. Because the more positive, happy things you give out in the world, the more you get back. So, and if you think, right, it's going to work. We're going to be stronger than ever. It's going to be class. It will. And if you have that trust in that person and you, you feel that they've got loyalty... They're not going to cheat on you, they're not going to do anything. So you've just got to trust in yourself and your partner. The next one. My boyfriend's getting with someone else and I don't know how to take it. So, you've got to remember why you're not with him anymore. And why it didn't work. So, and the worst thing you can do is compare yourself to his new girlfriend. Because honestly, I compare myself to everybody. But no one's me. And that sounds, no one's me. Because I'm a bit cringy, but oh. But no one is me. And you can't compare yourself because not everyone's the same. That's the whole point. Everybody is different. So their relationship, it could be completely different to yours. It ha as hard as it is, when you've got a partner and you broke up with them, seeing them move on with someone else is often better because it makes you want to move on. It makes you want to get on with your life and find someone else. So never compare yourself and always remember why it didn't work out. Because if you've got back together, you're just going to be in the same boat again. And why put yourself through misery and whatever else when it doesn't work? You've just got to move on. As hard as it is, move on. And just, like I said, don't compare yourself and just remember yourself. Well, it didn't work with us. Be happy for them. As hard as it is, you obviously you are. You're probably going to be jealous. But be happy for them because kill them with kindness. And the more you're happy for someone, the more happiness you'll get. Next one. I feel like boys are always just in it for sex or the experience. This can be for girls as well though. Um, but obviously at this age, hormones and whatever else are heightened and you want to experience stuff. Like I said in my previous video, you're excited too. And obviously sex, it is a big part of life and everyone's doing it. <laughs> well, not everyone, but the majority of people are. And you want to know what all the fuss about and you want to you wanna experience it and whatever else. But... You've got to be prepared for the good and the bad. If you're with the right person, it will feel right and you'll have the trust in them that they won't just, you know, ignore you and leave you and whatever. Because you'll trust them and you'll be with the right person. But don't categorise every boy the same because they're not. Don't think, oh, every boy's just in it for sex or whatever else. Because girls are too. Sometimes girls are just in it for sex and... Like I said, when you're with the right person, you'll know. But just remember that not all boys, not all girls have the same intention. Everyone's different. So, I messaged a boy and he has ignored me. And like, open my message and ignored it. From experience with boys, like, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. I have been pied off loads. Like, it's a part of life. You're going to get pied off. People are going to ignore you. I'm not going to lie. It is shit. Like, when you're messaging someone, you probably fancy them. Then they open it and ignore it, and you're a bit like, oh, mint. 
especially when your other friends are messaging boys as well because lately I have been comparing myself to people and I know I shouldn't like when my friends are messaging other boys it makes me want to message boys and stuff but like I said it's not my time yet and everything happens for a reason and I'm just going to wait for that right person but like I said it is it is crap when they ignore you but you've just got to take it as they're not interested and as hard as it is like it will be it is crap but they're not interested and you've just got to move on and find someone else because there will be that one boy out there who is all for you and this links into another thing what I'm going to say a girl said that she's if you were the boy and he fancies another boy and you feel like you're in competition with someone else what do you do first of all get out of it because if that boy really really likes you he's got your eyes set on you he will not be looking at any other boys there's about seven billion trip no seven seven million boys out there one boy will have his heart set on you and he will be the one don't settle for someone who's umming and ahhing especially if it's between you and your friend or you and this other girl because they're not for you there's so many other boys out there get yourself out there get yourself for someone else because if he's looking it's the same with girls if girls are unsure and the there's two boys and sometimes it can be though when you're messaging two boys you are a bit like oh i don't know like obviously you keep your options open but he will have eyes for you and there's so many other boys out there so don't settle for that um is it bad if you go back to an ex no it's not because however long you've been with them whether it's a week to a year six weeks to six months you've been with them a long period of time and you're bound to have that was a 10% thing I hate it when that happens because you you're in the middle of talking then it comes on and you're like oh do I do now <laughs> anyway just ignore that um you're bound to have feelings for them you're bound to miss them so no you shouldn't you shouldn't regret it at all you shouldn't feel judged you shouldn't feel whatever because you are bound to miss them and sometimes like I was speaking with my new granddad the other day and they were telling me about their marriage and whatever and they were saying how they had a five year break and then got back together and they've been together 20 years sometimes you have to have a break from an ex and I, I always find it weird that you could have walked past your true love right that's crazy or you could have already met them you could have already been with them and then 10 years down the line you're with them again so don't ever regret don't ever regret anything you do because in that moment of time you wanted to everything happens for a reason and someone's telling you to do it so don't regret it go for it um and sometimes you need to be with that ex again to make you realise why you shouldn't be with them. Or even why you should be with them. So, no, don't regret it. Toxic relationships and how to spot signs. So, <laughs> um, obviously I've never been in a toxic relationship myself. But how to spot the signs is whether they're being a bit manipulative and whether they're trying to make you feel bad for something that they've done straight away it obviously it's hard but get out of it just out of it you don't you don't need someone like that and you don't need to be in that situation there's so many other boys out there and linking this back to being ignored by boys we've only met probably not even a one percent of the population we've probably met not point not 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 especially where you live as well because obviously you don't travel the world all the time. Like, obviously I live in Middlesbrough. And I'm only used to Middlesbrough boys. Yeah, I've been to other places. But I'm only used to that. And there's so many other boys out there. There's a whole world of boys. Don't settle for being unhappy. Don't settle for that. And don't settle for being ignored either. Or being pied off. Because there will be someone out there who will dote on you. So just remember that. Because there's so many other people out there. Just don't overthink and don't worry. And I'm saying this and I need to tell this to myself because I'm preaching. But I need to tell this to myself as well because, like I said, there's just so many other people out there. I hope this video has helped you and it's helped you not to worry about stupid daft little things like I do all the time. And, yeah, just don't worry about boys, relationships, whatever, because you're only young. Like, whoever's watching it, whether you're my age or older, whatever, life happens and everything happens for a reason and obviously i'm only 17 so i'm not going to worry about finding a boyfriend yet because
because there's so many people out there and it'll happen when it will happen but anyway have a fab day and thanks so so much for watching bye